somebody wanted to know whether they can flush a toilet paper into the toilet when they are using a biodigester. Yes, you can do that. There's no two ways about that. Toilet paper or a toilet tissue is biodegradable. So as part of the human solid waste, it can also be treated. The only problem with using a biodigester is when people put in inorganic materials like rubber, like baby's diapers or pampers or anything that cannot easily be biodegraded. That's why we always have a, an easy to use instruction manual that we add or we give out to all those who do install biodigesters. These are the simple steps that you should follow and that's one good thing about biodigester because the time will come when the digester is open for servicing all you want to see is that the fecal matter has biodegraded nicely and has become manure that can easily be disposed of in the environment right there at the backyard of your house. That's why we always ask that people should not put anything that cannot easily biodegrade into the digester. Can the kitchen and bathroom wastewater be added to a biodigester? What we advise is no. In rare cases, we will add the kitchen and bathroom wastewater into a digester. That's when we realize that after doing the test, the soil type is very, very, very good. It's sandy and it can absorb a lot of water. But in most cases, what we do is to advise you to get a simple soak away for your kitchen and bathroom wastewater. The simple reason is that those waters cannot be regulated. So if you are having somebody in the house and they mistakenly forget and they leave the tap on in the bathroom or in the kitchen, you don't want all those water passing through the biodigester. That's why we always ask that you use the, the biodigester for toilet or flush units because those waters can easily be water from a, a flush unit or WC can easily be regulated and then the digester will have this peace of mind and self-correct itself when it has got all this water coming through. But then if it comes a sex in terms of the number of people who are using it then there's a problem. So usually we don't advise you to add kitchen and bathroom wastewater to your biodigester when it's being constructed. Can biodigesters be used for public and community toilets? Yes, they can be used for public and community toilets. I'm going to show you pictures of the commissioning of our six-seater public toilet that we did for the Tema Newtown community, sponsored by the Tema LNG Gas Company. The key difference here is that each number of users of a, of a particular facility and the kind of digesters that you must give them. That's why one of the few questions, the first questions we ask you when you say you are interested in having a biodigester installed is to ask the number of users of the facility. Not necessarily the immediate users, but the average users in the long term so that when you know you are constructing a biodigester, then you know the type to go for. For us at Dreamhouse Biodigester, we have the standard family size, which we usually do them for three, four, five bedroom houses. We have the large family size. We do those ones for probably eight, seven bedroom houses and anybody who has got an outer house, a boys quarters where workers will be staying there. And then of course we have the public ones that we give to schools and hospitals and churches as well. So your digester can be used for public toilet. It can be used for school. It can also be used depending on how many people are in the community. And in fact, for us at Dreamhouse Digesters, we have done a lot of digesters for various places in which we, we, can, we can easily attest to. So a digester can be used for the all situation, all scenario. The key part is that you don't have to use the manhole anymore when you do get a digester.